Hi YouTubers, this is Hunwick here. So I'll give you a look at my pedal powered generator. It's an old exercise bike that's been converted. I use a Fisher and Pikel Smart Drive motor rewired to make AC power. And the AC power comes out and goes up into the bridge rectifier. And then from there, it goes into, um, I've got a solar charge controller, and then it comes out of there, goes up to some gauges that I can read everything that's going on. The top one is the overall input energy into the, or power into the charge controller. The one on the left reads the battery voltage, and the one on the right reads the amps going into the battery. And that goes down into there. I actually have another way of doing it too where the power comes into a little box that's a 300 watt controller off a wind generator so I can have it either that way or through the charge controller. Now to drive it we have a set of gears. I have a reduction gear set or actually it's a it gears up actually and um, we have five speeds if you can see that down there with a derailer to select different speeds that we want that's also a big heavy flywheel that helps uh, level out or smooth out any cogging that's in for a generator from the generator and makes it easier to pedal so we'll fit the camera in into its holder and you can watch the gauges and see what's happening. I'll just give you a shot of that. So first of all, just watch the top gauge. You'll see it power up. The idea is to keep it in between the two red marks, which is around 12 to 14 volts. Putting about three and a half, four amps into the batteries at the moment. These batteries aren't terribly flat so it won't take a lot, but when you've got a flat battery and you draw a bit more load, I've had it up to 10 amps, which is quite good. Now here's a shot of it, of the, uh, the rail are working, changing gears. That's easier. Harder, harder again. These are the different configurations that you can get of how to wire up the coils, that's the factory one, that one gives high voltage, low amps, that's the one I use and that gives high amperage but lower voltage, it's a different configuration where you can have the coils coming in at different times, different rotational speeds. And there's one more, which is a bit more complicated but it has its use. And here we have the actual, another coil that I got given. It looks like in real life, give you a bit of a close up. Now it's configured. And this is the magnetic stator. You'll see the way the magnets are set up. They have a north and south in each one. It goes all the way around. Now 
Anyway, so that's what I wanted to show you. The generator. Catch you later. By the way, here's the latest on the twin cylinder. I've actually managed to fit the reed valve to the crankcase. I'm having a bit of a think about this. A few YouTubers have sent me information to say that's too good to go on a generator. So I might put it on either a hovercraft or a little off-road vehicle. I'll have to think about that one. See ya.